I'm Barry Laminack, and this isn't what happened in sports this week. Oh, hey, it's week four of no sports, and not one of our writers has killed himself yet. Bill O'Brien's in hot water again this week after making another questionable trade, sending a second round pick to the Rams for wide receiver Brandon Cooks and a fourth round pick. O'Brien makes trades like a 70 year old mom filling in for her son's fantasy draft. I don't know who that is, but he seems like a nice young man. In other NFL news, Jameis Winston got married this week to his girlfriend, former Rice basketball player, Breon Allen. The wedding took place at home and that's kind of surprising since he's normally much better on the road. To avoid embarrassment, the NFL has asked draft prospects to delete questionable social media posts ahead of the draft. Things like, I'm so high, or man, I love weed, or I want to play for the Jets. If you post that last one, no need to post the first two. We know. The NBA announced there will be a televised horse tournament with players playing from their homes. Horse is a game that involves shooting with no defense, so it's pretty much business as usual. No defense, James Harden's like, I'm a favorite. I'm definitely the favorite. Fans who watch the event will still be required to PayPal the NBA $10 for each hot dog or beer they consume while watching. Plenty of other news to get to, so don't go anywhere. UFC President Dana White tried to secure a private island for UFC 249. A private island, like, like he's about to feed James Bond to the sharks or something. You do have to admire his determination to have fights. I feel like the earth could be on fire right now. White would be like, screw it, moon fights. Eventually Disney, which owns ESPN, told the UFC to shut it all down, no more upcoming events. And when White complained Disney, Disney told him, let it go, let it go. All right, that was maybe too far. Alabama head coach Nick Saban said the quarantine has forced him to learn how to use email because assistants can't do it for him anymore. At the same press conference, Saban asked reporters if they've heard of this thing called electricity, but he ultimately dismissed it as magic. Mississippi State's athletic director said that after coach Mike Leach's inappropriate tweet last week, he needs to quote, expand his cultural awareness. You know you messed up when Mississippi is like, okay, that's too far. And finally, despite the quarantine, Manchester City defender Kyle Walker reportedly had hookers over for a sex party. Walker said he thought it was safe since one of the girls was wearing a nurse's outfit and the other role was played as an essential worker. Walker said he thought one girl was 24. Turns out she was COVID-19. <laughs> I'm Barry Laminek. There's literally nothing on these papers. That's not what happened in sports this week.